I bring him some candy for Don't you. touch me, nasty vermin. Hey. <laughs> hey, sweet kitty. Come here. Hey, sweet kitty cat. Hey, sweet. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's a nasty ranch kitty. Bye. Howdy, folks. Thanks for joining me on another episode. Hey, I've got something that just came in the mail, and they are sweet. Look at these bullets, these little bow bullets. These are the Stock Archery Silent Series Arrows. As always, 340 spine done up with the custom orange fletchings and white wrap, and they are beautiful. I've been shooting these arrows for like, I think two years now, and I've absolutely loved every second of having them in my quiver, flinging them at all kinds of and flinging them at all kinds of different air, uh, animals. If you guys want to pick some up, if you don't have any, you're definitely missing out. But if you guys want to pick some up, use this code right here, and the code will also be down in the description below, and you guys can save yourself some money, and I promise that you will not regret having them. On the menu for tonight, that is a big grizzly stick head. I did a video on these. I, they were the 125 grain heads. These were given to me by a great friend of mine, Mr. John Verhels, and he also gave me uh, some 200 grain heads and these are on the grizzly stick arrow also the momentum tdt 320 first time i've ever used the grizzly stick arrow and the first time using this 200 grain grizzly stick head i think the total weight all together is somewhere in the neighborhood of like 700 or 715 grains this thing is super duper heavy my normal arrow setup is about 515 give or take with my stock archery arrows and you guys know that I, I'm a big, huge stock archery arrow proponent and fan, and they've been a, Austin has been a huge sponsor of the channel for the last couple years, and I really appreciate him. But just because my good friend John wanted me to do some testing on this whole setup here, that's what we're gonna do tonight. I've got a brass outsert, loud and knock. I've got the the 200 grain head here, and we're gonna make a run for it. You got a northeast northeast wind actually, and. Um, we have a pretty decent sized boar hog, probably 200 pounds. One of these days I'll get this arrow in this quiver. And he's been coming to a feeder right at dark. So a little later than right now. Last night he showed up at about uh, 8.22, I think is the exact time. Yeah, 8.22. And I'm ex expecting him to show up about 8.45 to 9 o'clock tonight. Gotta wait for a complete darkness because we're gonna be walking up on him in the uh, wide open. So I got my, my lights ready. As a matter of fact, I need to swap up over from my quick stick stabilizer here, which if you guys have not seen, what I have here is my normal stabilizer. I run this thing all the time during the day uh, or just morning hunts or whatever. And that's like 99% of the time, this stabilizer is on my bow. And the cool thing about the quick stick archery stuff, and I'll link their social media down below, is that it's magnetic. It's a very quick swap. They also have adapters, so I can take uh, my sniper hog lights bow light here, and I can just boop, just like that. And now I'm ready for a night hunt as soon as I change the battery out in this thing. Got the battery swapped. We're ready to roll now. And, well, actually, we're not quite ready to roll. We're just waiting on the hog to show up to the feeder. So I would give it or expect it to be another 15 minutes, 8.30 on the dot right now. And whenever he shows, we roll. Before we go too much further in this video though, I want to give you guys the verse of the day. It comes from Psalms chapter 119, verse 11. It says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. What's yours? Same thing. Is it? I just thought it was always different. Hmm. This is a really important verse for us guys because there's a couple of things here that really stand out to me. The first is that you've got two really um, great ways or in your main ways that we communicate with the Lord and it's through prayer and it's through the Word. And that's how we um, learn about who God is and what He asks of us and what He um, wants of us. And it's not hard. The Bible can be very black and white. Now, <clears throat> I can understand that it could be a gray area in certain verses and particular scriptures for a lot of people. But don't make it harder than it has to be. But great things come from hiding the word of the Lord in your heart 
and then also turning around and sharing that the more time that we spend in the Word of God and the more time that we spend in prayer, the better off that we're going to be in all aspects of our life. You got anything you want to add? Yeah, because mine is different. Oh, it is? Did you get two verses of the day today? Well, it's kind of going off that. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. But going off what you were saying, it says on here, no prayer is too small for God. Mm, that's true. And there is no... And trust that He loves and cares for you. Yeah, there is no condemnation in those um, who have Christ Jesus in their heart. And so uh, it's another great reason to add the Word of the Lord into your, your daily life, even if it's just for five minutes a day. Watch that shot up just a little bit. I was really gonna punch it right through both shoulders, but yeah. it is what it is. So I think it uh, it's gonna turn out really well for us either way, but that was like a hot knife through butter. And so we're gonna hit the trail and see what we can come up with. No damage to the head. Had no problem zipping right through. Yeah, I'll take that back. There's a little bit of damage there on the edge. If it would ever focus, you can see a little bit of roughness on the edge there, but that'll buff out. Fletchings look good. I've been looking for about 10 minutes now, and I got super lucky. Looks like we might do all right. Uh, I was kind of worried with how thick it is in here. Some of this stuff is taller than me. I was real nervous, because there wasn't a whole lot of good red stuff at the very beginning. Actually, there was none, but it seems as though it's uh, really opening up back in here. I gotta make my way through that somehow or go around one of the two It's been like this for a good 50 60 yards. Here's my hand for size comparison Can't believe She's still going but She crosses one of my fences back through that mess lucky for me on the other side. It's more open So we're gonna back out of here go all the way around and get through the, the forest. It is quite the mess here. <laughs> I had to wait till I got back into the truck to finish filming this, because this hunt goes down and the top five craziest hunts that I've ever I've been a part of, seen, or experienced, and I still cannot believe what just happened to. This group of hogs has been running around out here on my lease for about a good month and a half now. There was two sows. I took one out in a previous video, uh, probably, well, yeah, at least a month and a half ago, two months ago. And then I was after the other sow and then I was gonna start chipping away at the piglets. She's been super, super skittish ever since uh, I 
took her running buddy from her. She shows up at random times. She's very sporadic. But she's come in at this basically the same time three days in a row. And today's day four. I was expecting her to show up at like 7.30. She finally rolls in with all the pig, with the smaller pigs, little shoats, at like 8.45. I run an arrow through her and I messed up. I'm not fooling anybody. I'm not a perfect shot. And this isn't TV either. So I'm gonna show you <laughs> just about everything. So long as it's YouTube friendly, I'm gonna show you. And what I'm fixing to show you in this show camera picture is going to blow your minds. Now, as the crow flies, a direct shot from feeder to feeder is 700 yards on the dot, on the money. I know the distance that she ran was every bit of a thousand yards at the very least, if not closer to 1500 uh, maybe 1,700 yards that she ran to get to this other feeder. All the piglets go with her. I got a trail camera picture that you guys are looking at right now. She is standing there with her piglets eating corn and protein. It's clear as day. You can see it right there in the neck. I followed amazing blood for a good 40, 50 yards, maybe 60 yards in the brush. And I thought for sure, once I went around the backside, she's going to be laying in there. Nope. And I'm glad I checked my phone before I dove off in the brush on the other side of that cross fence. She's over a thousand yards away from me, eating corn and protein like nothing ever happened. I am, I'm mind blown and my mind is just boggled. And I, sh I know I shouldn't be surprised. I've been doing this for so many years and I've killed hundreds of hogs with a bow and it never ceases to amaze me how tough these animals can be and how tough that they are. It is truly, insane and the fact that she went back to eating is what blows my mind even more um i, I just i'm at a loss for words i really and truly am i just i don't <laughs> i don't know what to think or what to say and i i honestly i can't believe it and if if you would have told me that that was going to happen i probably wouldn't have believed you just like a couple of my other crazy stories which i may uh, start filming some videos on some crazy hunting stories that i've had before in the past uh even before YouTube, um, even before I was doing YouTube. Uh, but this one, man, this one's top, top three, 100%. I uh, just, uh, I'm mind blown. That's all I can say. Hope that you enjoyed this one. We are gonna take that exact same arrow set up over 700 grains. I'm gonna sharpen that head and actually I've got another brand new one. We're gonna get that other brand new head screwed on, same head, it's like 200, 200 grains. And we're gonna go put it to the test but we're going to go do it on a big board that I've got coming in and we're going to try to run it through both shoulders or just something crazy cool and fun. And I promise I won't screw it up a second time. Um, I screwed this one up tonight and I thought it was going to work out for me beautifully. And that hog was going to be down uh, with a jugular hit in less than a hundred yards. Boy, was I wrong. She went a long stinking ways and is still on her feet. And I just, I can't believe it. But anyway, we're going to do, we're going to revisit this arrow and head setup. And I've got some new arrows that I want to show you guys from the stock archery. If you guys want to pick up some arrows, there will be a link down in the description below. And there will also be a discount code. And it will also be right here so you guys can uh, pick up some arrows, save yourself some money. I can't wait to show you my new stock archery arrows. And the bow build, the bow that was given to me, the uh, cheaper, more affordable bow that was given to me um, on Amazon. That build is coming up very soon. I can't wait to jump on that. And then I'm gonna be giving that bow away, but you guys have to make sure that you share the video that is in the very, very top of the description down below. Share it, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, leave me a thumbs up and drop a comment all um, on the channel and on that video. And I will be sure to pick one of you guys to be the winner of the bow. I'm gonna send it out to one of y'all. It's an awesome uh, bow, highly adjustable, and I think that y'all really like it. So make sure that you're subscribed and sharing the videos and leaving comments and thumbs up and stuff like that, especially on that video that's gonna get you entered in to win. Now that it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, let's roll back, grab some grub, and get to work on editing some videos so you guys can keep enjoying this uh, late spring, early summer content, and there's gonna be lots more of it plenty of hog hunting of course we got some really awesome videos coming from the real mccoy ranch and i can't wait to share with you guys but all in all that's it for tonight you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching i'll see you in just a few days